Hello guys, this is your friend the great lobbyist and I'm back again with another awesome video. Today we have here with us the DJI Osmo Pocket. Now this is a pocket size gimbal which has the camera in built into it. And when we unboxed it, we found the gimbal with this beautiful case. Uh, we're gonna take this out. And a USB type C charging cable and two connector. And we're gonna find out how we're gonna use these two bad boys as well. Now this case, of course, is very nice, elegant. It's called band which You can just put it across your wrist and walk around without having to worry about losing it or dropping it off and the gimbal itself. Now, without wasting any time, we're gonna straight away look into what this bad boy can do and what kind of power it packs. Uh, but before we do that, can I please request you to press the subscribe button and the notification icon so that you get all the notifications and I get all the motivation to get these awesome videos to you. Now, I'm gonna turn this on and see what it does. On the body of it, as you can see, the camera is right here and then we have the power button, the record button, the micro SD card slot. It doesn't have any memory of its own, so you have to put in a micro SD card of your own. It can take up to 120 GB memory card. It has the USB Type-C charging uh, port at the bottom, a neat and clean back, and that's pretty much it. It. Now, before we get on to what, how we connect, if we want to connect and have extended features, in itself, it has some, without any connecting anything else, it has all the things that you need to go out and do, capture some videos and pictures. Now, it all works with this beautiful small LED screen, which is there, which is touch screen, and it can help you navigate through all the features and all the options that it has to offer. We're gonna start with something at by swiping bottom to top. It has the option of recentering your gimbal. It has the option of switching it to the selfie mode. As you would see, the camera turns itself. You don't have to worry about it. It has the option of going into from walking mode to fast follow to slow follow mode as well which means you can have it to the walking speed or to fast follow speed as well just in case you're recording it from a moving car or rollerblading whichever the way it is and on the last one here is different type of gimbal option whether it's pan tilt or follow you have tilt locked you have fvp you have follow mode and you have the tilt lock mode so all that you need is when you swipe the screen from bottom to top it gives you all these options options when we go from right to left it gives you all the options whether you want to do a photo and if you go further down one more left it gives you various options of what kind of photo you want to shoot which means 16 by 9 4 by 3 3 by 2 and it has the timer option countdown timer as well which is three seconds five seconds and seven second option or you can just turn it off and then when we go to the video mode again this it can record up to 4k at 16 by 9 at 60 frames per second or 50 frames per second 30 frames per second and 25 frames per second it also has a 2k mode in 16 by 9 again in all the frames per second option which is 25 30 50 and 60 frames per second it also has a hd mode which is 1020p in 16 by 9 in all the frames per second option that you choose to record in now then it also has a slow mo option let's look at slow mo option it can do 1080p at 4x that's a standard fixed speed i think uh, with other connectivities you can always look at more advanced option it has the time lapse it has the pano mode now when it goes to the time lapse it can do motion lapse it can do hyperlapse and the standard time lapse as well i'm gonna put and then i'm gonna post some videos pictures and time lapse uh, clippings that i've shot on this so that you can see what is the quality it also has a pano mode which is three by three and 180 degrees so it automatically does the job so if i do it on 180 i'll just show you how the camera tilts so that you are able to see it all you need to do is press the record button and it just goes swiping i'm holding it up down so it's not going to do it right now i'll have to do it on and my house is in a mess so i'm not going to put it down showing you what it has but yes it has the option when you swipe from bottom to top it takes you into settings you can have photo settings and when you click on it, it gives you options of various photo settings AFC mode, pro mode, and brightness settings as well, and the various tilt options of that particular mode that you have selected. Now, the 
this is pretty much all it can do when it comes to and on the left side you can go through the gallery that of everything that you have recorded or shot on this so that you get an idea i'm going to play this short video of time lapse that i shot and you have uh, when you further clear when you swipe it again from left to right one more time you can select a particular video or the photograph as your favorite and you can delete it as well now i'm going to look at how we can connect our phones to it and get advanced option now as you can see it comes with two connectors one is for iphones and one is with usb type c which is with the latest models of all the android devices all you need to do is remove the cover from here slide this in and i'm gonna plug in my phone to it so that you can see what it can do only thing it requires is the dji memo app installed as you can see you can just literally leave it here hold your mobile phone don't hold this it might tilt out and break the connector but yes you can hold your phone and when you turn it on when you connect open the dji memo app it automatically you can select this particular option to select the device so it searches for this particular device which is already connected and you will see in a few seconds that osmo pocket is now you can see that you will have all the options that you need in terms of advanced option which can be used by this dji memo app which means you can everything that you want to do with it you will have advanced settings to control and get a better output of your videos and pictures that you do great options i personally absolutely loved it i took it out for a few times shooting some videos and i was absolutely in love with this guys this is dji osmo pocket which has 4k recording on video uh, you don't have to carry anything else with you you just carry this and you can do whatever you want and if you want something advanced and some more advanced shooting option you all you need to do is connect your device to it and carry these don't forget to carry these connectors depending on the device you have and you are good to go thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you liked it and if you have any questions regarding dji osmo pocket or the video or the channel please do leave us a comment below and i'll be happy to answer and this is your friend the great lobbyist and signing off keep yourself safe peace